The center today defended the Gujarat government, saying that it acted swiftly against those involved in Dalit atrocities in Una. Responding to the opposition concerns on the issue during Zero Hour in the Lok Sabha, Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh said, the incident is unfortunate and condemnable. He said the FIR was registered and nine accused were arrested in the case and four police officers were suspended. Rajnath Singh said, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is upset over the Una incident and has expressed pain over the attack. India remains engaged with all nuclear supplier group members for an early decision on its membership of the elite group. Replying to supplementaries in the Lok Sabha today, External Affairs Minister Shishma Swaraj said, India has made progress as far as NSG membership is concerned and India is still engaging with China on the issue. Shishma reiterated India will never sign the NPT but is fully committed to non-proliferation. Government has expressed hope for passage of GST bill in the current session of Parliament. INB Minister Venkaya Naidu said the government is in touch with all political parties to get the GST bill passed in this session of Parliament. A majority of the political parties are supporting the bill. The cabinet today gave its approval for the establishment of a new AIMS at Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh at a cost of 1,011 crore rupees. The cabinet also approved the incorporation of the Sagarmala Development Company under the Companies Act with an initial authorized capital of 1,000 crore rupees. Union Urban Development Minister Venkaya Naidu has said government is making all efforts to boost the housing finance sector to ensure that the goal of affordable housing for all by 2022 is met. Addressing a national summit on finance for housing for all in New Delhi today, Naidu said that it is the priority of his ministry to provide access to safe and affordable housing to all countrymen. Supreme Court has declined any interim relief to nine Uttarakhand MLAs who were disqualified by Assembly Speaker Govind Singh Kunjwal. These MLAs had sought a stay on their disqualification and permission to participate in the Assembly session commencing from tomorrow in Dehradun. National Green Tribunal today said that deregistration of 15 to 10-year-old diesel vehicles in the national capital would be carried out in a phased manner. The Green Panel said that the diesel vehicles, which were 15 years old, should be deregistered first. NGT further said that such vehicles will not get a no-objection certificate for applying outside Delhi NCR. In Arunachal Pradesh, Chief Minister Pema Khandu proved his majority during a floor test in the Assembly. The Assembly also elected Shering Norbu Thongdok as the new Speaker of the House unopposed following the resignation of the Speaker Nabam Ribia on Tuesday. The Madras High Court has refused to order the premature release of one of the life convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, Nalini. Noted hockey player Mohammed Shahid passed away in Gurugram. He was undergoing treatment for liver and kidney ailment. Prime Minister Modi has condoled the demise of Mohammed Shahid. France's National Assembly has voted to extend the state of emergency for six months. The move follows last week's attack in Nice, in which 84 people were killed and scores injured. The state of emergency was brought in after terror attacks in Paris in November last year that killed 130 people. Donald Trump has officially clinched the Republican nomination for the U.S. president after a state-by-state -state vote at the party convention. After vanquishing 16 party rivals, warring with much of the Republican establishment and provoking controversy at the party convention, Trump secured the party's 2016 nominations for the White House. He won a majority of delegates, 1,237, needed to contest the November 8 U.S. presidential elections. At least 17 soldiers have been killed and 35 wounded in an attack on a military base in Mali. Heavily armed men overran the base in the central town of Nampala and set parts of it on fire. Two separate groups have claimed responsibility for the attack. India have drawn five-time champions and succeeded Spain in the Davis Cup World Group playoff tie scheduled from September 16 to 18. It will be India's first home tie against Spain who lead the head-to-head -head record 2-1 in matches played from 1922 to 1965. Rohit Khandelwal has become the first Indian to win the coveted title of Mr. World at a grand ceremony in Southport in England. The competition saw 47 participants from around the world giving him a stiff competition.